Alrighty. Hello, everyone on Facebook Live. Today we have Ashley Paris. Alrighty, Ashley, and what are we going to be doing today? Coil pots. Coil pots. <laughs> And today we are taking some inspiration for Blackout History Month from Zizifo. She is um, a ceramicist working from Cape Town, Africa. And I love her work. We are going to show her right now. She uses the coil pot method to make some amazing, huge vessel works. Yeah, that's pretty. Oops. <laughs> Let's make sure we are actually live. Let me turn this one down. So, let me pull us back up. So, we are going to do something similar today at a much smaller scale. Unfortunately, our kiln is not as large as hers must be to make works that impressive. All right. Is there any shout outs you would like to give today, Ashley? To everybody. Everyone? Mm -hmm. And just a reminder that Valentine's Day is on Monday. If you have not picked up anything for your loved ones, you can do so in our store. And when is our store open, Ashley? Tuesday through Friday, 10 to 4. 10 to 6. 10 to 6. And what are the hours on uh, Saturday? 10 to 4. And we have a large variety of Valentine's Day products, if you did forget. And this is your last reminder to pick some of those items up. From us, at least. But we will be back next week to make some other super cool pieces for you. And with that, let us get started. Alrighty. And here we have an interesting looking <laughs> lump of clay. Alrighty. Do you remember the first step for this pot, Ashley? No, I need help. And that is perfectly fine to need help. We just have a lump of red clay here and a bucket of water. And that's all you'll need for this project. Okay. So we're going to take a small chunk of this clay, just okay. a little bit. Is that good? Yeah, I'm going to do more. That is perfectly fine. Okay, then you roll it into a snake. Mm-hmm. Can you roll it right here? And then you use your finger tips just to guide it. Yep. Can you maybe show uh, the examples of what we're making? Oh, whoops. <laughs> oh, you can just show this one right here. We're on the above camera right now. And can you tell us who made these examples? Mm. James, that one. James Egan and Charity. Jody Man. I think Charity made that one. Charity, sorry. Never mind. <laughs> Charity, wait, never mind. Never mind. That is it, okay? So then you roll it into a longer snake if you want to get it thicker. Thinner. Thinner. Can you roll it right here so they can see you? Ooh, I like your nails. Oh, thanks. They need to be redone. <laughs> I think they look pretty. Thank you. The tape wants to move on. Okay, check it. Is that good? Let's try to get a little thinner and a little bit more uniform on the sides. What do you mean by like uniform on the sides? So it's all the same thickness all the way that around. That was a great question, wasn't it? It was. So if you want to make it water, you just move your fingers up and then all the way back. Mm-hmm. Right? Yep. And then if you want to make it smaller, you put your fingers close to each other. Uh-huh. I'm getting it. You are getting it. Hello. Very good. Now you can keep doing that. Okay. With these other pieces, go ahead and tear off more chunks of clay. When do we form that shape? When we get a little bit more. So go ahead and tear off another chunk and keep rolling some snakes for us. Okay. I'll do it in my hands this time. <laughs> Just make sure that they can see you. So do that in your hands over the, um, the newsprint for me. Like this? Mm-hmm. 
This is very hard. Uh, sometimes it's a little bit difficult. Am I doing it right? Kendall? You very much are. Let me set it down. Let's see. Oh. Oops. <laughs> my here. I'm gonna just get my fingers wet just to keep the clay hydrated. Oh, okay. Thank you. Look how well I'm doing. Mm-hmm. I'm not as nervous as I was. I'm getting better now. <laughs> yeah, you were a little bit nervous to start, but that is always all right. Yep. We will be ending live stream a little bit early today, which is just fine because we are going to walk around the studio or roll around the studio per se, so we can say hello to all of our artists. Yeah. And you we're just gonna let me know when that is, right? I absolutely will. After we make our pot, of course. Okay. Everyone at home needs to know how we make it. Yep. So the first step you got to do is you take a chunk of clay mm -hmm. and then you roll it in the snakes. And then, if you want to make it longer, you just take your fingers and you go back and forth. Yep, yeah, you got to keep going. It, got to be, it has to be smaller. Paper is not working very well. I have a clay on my nail. It's okay. It'll come off on it. It will. Clay is just dirt. Mm -hmm. Dirt and water. Hi, Fonz. Want to say hi? Hey. You gotta put your mask on, Fonz. Hey. Tracy, can you put your mask up for me? I like his mask. It's cute, isn't it? Mm hmm. It's got Elvis on it. It's cute, Tracy. I like it. It's very cute. No, my hands have clay on them. Can, can you ask someone else to put it on for you? My hands have clay. <laughs> Are they gonna go that pretty good? Can we get a little bit thinner? I tried. I'm gonna hold the microphone with this one, but helps to use your hands a little bit. Yeah. I'm just gonna to roll it out into a spaghetti okay. noodle. It's a little bit dry, so I'm gonna dip my hands in some water. It's just water, that's all it is. Yep. And the clay is just dirt and water. Yeah. And so I'm gonna You know slowly... what that reminds me of a hot dog shape? It is a hot dog. I'm rolling it into a large hot dog. Oops, the hands I'm using my fingers. Yeah. And my palms to kind of press it down. Yeah. Oops. Uh, Let's just go ahead and remove the newsprint. How about that? You think we should? I think we should. Yeah, I think we should too. Newsprint, we'll just clean off the table really well. Go ahead and lift that. Got it. I got it. Thank you, Ashley. Very helpful. Probably the only thing. I'm just going to set it right here. Is that okay for now? Yeah. Perfectly okay. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so can you help me roll it out the rest easier. of the way? The table is much easier. Mm-hmm. I'm using the brunt of my palm to kind of force it down. Yep, and I'm using the palm and my fingers. Yep. How's that look, Kendall? Look at that. that looks really good. Can you help me with this one? Sure. Remember we did a survey together? We did a survey together, yeah. How did I do on it? Very well. Okay, that's right. Okay. So, if you want to turn this into a bigger hot dog, you just gotta keep rolling it and it'll get longer, right? Uh-huh. I put one right in. Can I show her? Mm -hmm. Where do you make it? Oh, wrong one. <laughs> Oh, you're making a little foil bowl? Yeah. Nice. What else? Isn't it going to be beautiful? Yep. Can you tell her who it's inspired after? ZZ Fo. Uh huh. Yeah. ZZ Fo Pauza. She is a ceramicist working in Cape Town, Africa. She owns a ceramic shop there. Wow. She's very beautiful. She makes very large pots and Show vessels. Kenzie, you see the blue? Yeah, I see the blue there. Isn't she? She is so pretty. She's a successful African American or African artist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and she does a lot of artwork, doesn't she, Kendall? She does, she does. Oh, that's a long snake. <laughs> this is a very long snake. Will you help me with that, please? I will. Can you start a new one? Sure. So, can I find her and what we do? 
Yeah? Kenzie, what we do is we take a big chunk of clay. Yeah. And then roll it between our hands, right, Kendall? Mm-hmm. Sometimes we'll use the table as a guide. Right? Mm-hmm. So then if you want to make it longer, all you do is you use your fingertips back and forth. Let me see if you want to try. You want to try to do it? You know what? I'll leave it to you guys. Okay. <laughs> But yeah, Zizi Fo, she um, hand coils all of her very large vessels. Oh, she does, doesn't she? Mm -hmm. And they are absolutely massive. So we're doing miniature versions. Yeah, we are. We're doing miniature coil pot. Coil vessels. Yep, or coil pots. Uh oh. <laughs> I can't. Uh oh. <laughs> well, I can't wait to see it when it's finished. I know. So so today we're going to make the vessel, and then we're going to fire it, and then we're going to glaze it. Cool. And next week on Live Art Mini, I think we're going to be doing a fused glass piece. So if you're at home and want to see that, feel free to tune in next week. Yep. All right, we can roll one more snake, and then we can get coiling. Can you roll that one out for us? This one? Yep, roll it out for us. Okay. This is going to be fun. All we do is we take a bucket of water, correct? Bucket of water. Clay. Mm-hmm. And that's it, right? And our hands. Yeah, of course. <laughs> our hands. We gotta we gotta have those. Yeah, I know. What about this? You want me to I can take that. We might we might need it to yeah. plug up some gaps. Uh, we're doing, um, is it ZZ Fo? Is that her name? Mm -hmm. ZZ Fo. We're doing a, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, coil pot. Coil pot, yeah. Nice. Nice. That is, that's going to be very cute when it's done. It really is. Isn't it, Kendall? Uh-huh. How's that, Kendall? Does that look pretty good? Looks pretty good. I'm getting there. It's okay. I'll move that. Keep going. Okay. Keep going, you said? Yeah, you got to keep going. Okay. I'm doing good, aren't I? Of course you are. Yeah. Looks like a big carrot. <laughs> does look like a big carrot. I'll help. Here. We'll tear this in half and you do that half, okay? You do that half, right? I'll do some of this for you and then you can help me finish it. Okay, thank you. You know, mine is cool. And then just roll it into separate parts. It's okay if it breaks. It if it starts fine. to crack, you can add some water to your hands and it'll help. Okay. So then all you do after you roll the snakes is you start building it. Mm-hmm. We're going to build them into a vessel. What does a vessel mean? A vessel is like a, a pot. Yeah. So like that would be a vessel. Mm-hmm. There we go. Look how long that oh, one is. Man, that, is that one pretty yep. good? Yeah, now roll that one. This one's good? Yep. Okay. This is going to be fun. I love making coil pots. It's a long process, but it's always oh, very my. interesting. Would I be able to do this type of artwork at home with clay? If you have some air dry clay, absolutely. I don't have yeah. any clay, but I do have paints. I can maybe paint a picture. You could definitely paint a picture at home. You can yeah. do this with air model clay or air dry clay. Yeah. That's right, Tracy. I am going to let my parents know how to do this. Because yeah. they want to maybe come someday and try to do clay. Yep. Yeah. All right. Are you ready to build? Yes. How's okay. that look? Does that look good? Uh huh. So, do you know how to coil it or do you want me to help you start? Help me start, please. Okay, so we will start with this one right here. Okay. So, holding it on the ground with our finger, mm -hmm. we're going to slowly start to spiral it up. Okay. Using a little, little bit, bit of water. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Yummy cook. Jinx. Okay. So, using a little bit of water, we're just going to start to slowly spiral like, it. Like, like, you know, a, a snail, kind of. Yeah. Am I right? Uh huh. I a little spiral. Wow, you're good at this. Doing it just a little bit. Well, you've made pots before too, just like this. Yes. 
but it's hard to get it started. There's nothing wrong with that, is there? Nope, and we're going to pat it just a little bit. Not enough to get it stuck to the table, though. Yeah. All right, and then where we leave off, we're going to add another one. So okay. we'll add this long one right here. Okay. So what kind of vessel do you want to make? Do you want to make a little ring dish or a mug or a cup? A cup. A cup? Mm-hmm. Yep. So then we connect the ends together, correct? Uh-huh. So how big did the of a base do you want your cup to be? I like the size of ZZ Pose. That's a very, very big base. Yeah, it's a very big uh, piece there. But if it's going to be miniature, then I think we got to stop here and start going up. Okay. Which is fine. So we're going to pinch it off. Oh, we are? Uh-huh. And we're going to start building up. Okay. So now we're going to take it with some water. Okay. Just on our hands. And we're going to do what do. Yeah, and we're just going to start to smooth it out a little bit. Wow. Get a little bit closer to the camera so you guys might be able to see. We don't want to lose our spiral too much, so we're going to go in the pattern of our spiral to flatten it on our palms. Okay. Just to get those coils flat. You know, when I, when I learn how to use this, a uh, clay wheel. The pottery wheel? Yeah. Well, we don't have one of those yet. We've got a kick wheel, but those unfortunately are kind of difficult to use. But you do know what I'm talking about, don't you? Yeah, a potter's wheel. We don't have any of those currently. Not yet. Maybe one day we'll get some. I love my summer clay. Clay is fun. I know you make quite a few uh, wind chimes. Yeah, did you see my tiger one I made? Yeah, you're making the Bengals one, right? Yeah. Oops, yeah, let's build the water. That would add a big well, bit. Good thing we don't have too much. Yeah. Let's keep adding a little bit of water. Yeah, a little bit at a time, huh? Uh-huh. It's getting bigger, see? Yeah. Starting to get there, huh? Perfect. So, can we get a little bit of paper? Can you tear me off a tiny bit of that? A little bit more than that. About the size of our base. Oh, okay. Mm. Oh, this will be fine. We're going to put this on some paper just in case it happens to stick to the table. We can pull it right off. Okay. That's a smart idea. <laughs> Instead of having it. So then what you do is you build up and up and up, right? Mm -hmm. So we're just making sure this is nice and flat and pretty even. Yeah. <laughs> kind of icky, but that is okay. We're messing with clay, yeah. which is just dirt. And water. Dirt and water, of course. Yeah. Okay. So now we're going to take our next snake. Okay. All right. Do you want to put the first one on or the next one on? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to get it wet. So go ahead and add some water to your fingers. Is that enough water? Yep. Now go along the length of our oil. How's that? Perfect. Is that wet enough? It is. So now carefully lay it on top of this, okay. trying to lay tightly. That's going to be hard to know. Nope, we're just going to press down How's as that? we go. Is that good? It's very good. Thank you. Okay, now can you keep layering? It looks like a number six. <laughs> it does. It then. does. It does. Now can you lay it on top? But I don't want it to break. It already broke a little bit. It's all right. So just add a little bit more water to your fingers. Okay, is that enough water? Yep. Okay. There Perfect. We go. Now go ahead and lay it on top. Okay, let's swirl it, right? Yep, just like a swirl. And just press down with your fingers as you go. Very good. Now lay it on top of this one, too. Like that? Yep. Is that right so far? It absolutely is. Yes, I'm learning still. Still learning. Always learning. Yeah. Yep, now right on top of this. We're going to go on top of this layer. Oh, I thought you said under. Sorry. No, nope, you're fine. Right like that. And then press down slightly as you go. Look like this? Yep. So then the last step is going to be the hardest one. All right. And then we're still going on top of here. Oh but it's okay. It's just clay. So mm -hmm. you can just pull it right off. Is that good? Yep. We're just going to slightly uh, move that just a little bit. But it looks great. All right, so can you, if I trace this, can you put the rest of the coil right on here? Yes. All right, can you put the coil right on here? Sure. It doesn't matter which one does it. No, can you put the rest of this coil right on top of here? Oh, I thought you meant over here. <laughs> there. 
How does that look? It looks great. Now go ahead and press it down with your finger. Can I pat it a little bit? Yes, you can. Ta da! <laughs> All right, now we're going to take two of our fingers dipped in water. Okay. And we're going to slightly pinch. Around, right? Yep. To make sure that we don't get any cracks. Right. We don't want that, do we? All right, now can you take your fingers dipped in water and pinch around the pot? Yes. It's just water. Just water, because what is, what is clay made out of? Dirt. Clay and water. Well, clay is made out of dirt and water. Yeah. Like this, Kendall? Yep. I'm getting there, aren't I? Uh-huh. Ta-da! <laughs> it looks great. Thank you. Okay, tiny little ring dish. And I can hold it up so people can see it a little bit better. Yeah. Kenzie. It's coming along. <laughs> Isn't it, Kendall? It's pretty. Isn't it? It is pretty. So this is little, so we're just going to keep building. Layering it, right? Mm -hmm. All right, do the same thing with this next long one. It's really long. Oh, okay. Do you want to layer it or do you want me to layer it? You, please. I can help you. Mm -hmm. If I layer it, will you pinch it for me? Yes. Okay. I can do that. Go ahead and get me to wait. We're going to wait till it's all on here because we're trying to make it kind of like ZZ Foes where it gets bigger. Oh, okay. I'm going to pinch it. Not yet? Not yet. we got to wait till it's all on here. We're going to add some water in between so it sticks. Okay. Remember, she hand coils all of her works just like we are right now. Yeah. That's pretty cool, huh? You tell me when to pinch it, right? Okay. It's getting there, isn't it? It is. Slowly, huh? We're gonna finish coiling and then we can pinch. Okay. The next layer after you get the coil together, you just put it on and it'll stick, right? Sometimes it'll just stick. Sometimes we need some more pinching. Yeah. It's just water and clay, that's what makes dirt, right? <laughs> it's dirt and water makes clay. Oh my gosh. It's all right. Yeah. What time is the party today? The party is going to start in a, just a little bit. Just a little bit? Okay. You'll tell me when to pinch, right? You'll tell me? Yep. Yeah, okay. And now I'm using the side of my hand to stabilize as I go. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. So Ashley can pinch our pot. Go ahead, or you want me to wait? Just one second. We're going to finish layering up all of our coils. Okay. Ooh, that's going to be pretty, isn't it, Kendall? It absolutely is. I'm just pinching these two ends together real quick. Okay, that's fine. I'm leaving all the good pinching to you. Yeah. Because <laughs> you are going to be great at it. Yeah. I'm gonna need a lot of help. I know. Yeah, Terry or Tracy, you want us to pinch it? You want us to pinch our pot? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So get your fingers wet. Okay. Is that good? Yep. And then we're gonna carefully put our hands around the outside of the pot. Okay. And we're gonna pinch the sides of it to get them all to stick together. Even this one, look. Yep. All of it. All right, go ahead and pinch it for me. So one hand on it and then the other hand to pinch. Yep, that helps keep it stable. All the layers need pinched together. I don't so understand. So you have to pinch all the way down here together. Oh, like at the very, very bottom? Yep, all of it. And you push down a little bit and it'll pinch it together. Oh, that's cool. Yep. That's a new technique I learned, huh? Uh-huh. Isn't it? It is. So like this? Mm hmm Is that right? Yes, it is. I mean, it's do that. Sorry. How's that, Kendall? It looks awesome. So I'm going to do a little bit more over here just to make sure these aren't cracking. Okay. This is going to be pretty. 
Yep, and you can also do this as you go along, which is what I would normally do. However, what? we were a little Vincent bit as you go along. Yep, we were a little bit short on time. Hmm. Do you want to smooth it out completely, or do you want to leave your coils exposed? Let's smooth it. You want to smooth that out completely, because yeah. it's going to take a minute. Yeah, that's fine. Pretty. It is pretty. Okay, so go ahead and get your fingers wet. Okay. And you see where there's some cracks right here? Yeah, just rub them, right? Yep, rub the cracks a little bit. How's that? Yeah, that looks great. Ta-da! Awesome. You keep doing that, and we are going to move this paper over here just a little bit more. Okay. So now we'll show we... some of the sides of this for it's the camera. Pretty, isn't it? Okay, that was beautiful, isn't it? It's beautiful. So we're going to fire this okay. when it is all completely dry, and then we'll glaze it, and everyone can see the finished product. Yeah. So everyone will be able to see this in a couple of days. Mm -hmm. And then we will be back in just a couple of moments. Mm -hmm. And we will show you guys around the studio for our Super Bowl party. Yay! Perfect. Right. Give me just a second. Will you hold that for me? Sure. Oh, almost lost it. <laughs> I want to show Kenzie the this. Unplug the camera up top. Let me oh, yeah. to our camera. Okay. Can we still hold this? Yes. Or do you want to take it? One second, I'm unplugging that. Mm -hmm. I'm getting our cords situated. Yeah. Oh, perfect. I was just going to have Savvy do that. Hey, nice. Yeah. Try not Savvy to make everyone seasick. What? Try not to make everyone seasick. Yeah. Moving the camera. Thank you, Savvy. Alrighty, everyone. We're going on the move. I'm going on the move with the cart so we can say hello to everyone in the studio to see what we've got going on. First stop is you, Joni Man. I see you over there. I'm going to wait for you to You can motion that when you go that way, please. Yes. Which one? Yep. Yep. I will. We got ten of those too. Who did? Oh, flap. <laughs> Hi, Jody Man. Hi. Is there anyone you want to say hello to? Everybody. Who are you rooting for? Oh, Bengals. Who did? <laughs> oh, Harry. <laughs> and what are you working on today? What is it? Glass commission. I forget where this goes. Do you like the colors on it? Yeah. Yeah? So, do you think we're going to win? Who did? Yes. <laughs> Terry keeps saying, who did? We're going we're gonna to win. Yeah, I, this Terry's got to just keep saying it? Yeah. We know what, I know what Terry's going to say. She better she... not say it. <laughs> I think every time Terry says, who did, is another point that we're going to get. Yeah. So, yeah. Terry's just racking them up for us. Yeah, Terry's just liking everything up for us. Yeah. Terry, we hate. <laughs> She's making sure we're going to win. All right, yeah, now. Fine. There we go, everybody. Now we're coming back this way. And we're going to say hello to Kathleen. Hello. This is our Super Bowl party. Are you ready? You ready to see the Super Bowl? <laughs> You're not much into sports? No. I'm not, but I'm excited that everyone else is excited. I mean, I guess it's nice, but I just, 
I'm probably not gonna watch it because I'm not in sports. I just want to eat all the snacks. Are you excited for the snacks? I will probably get some wings once I get paid. <laughs> and that's all that matters. What are you working on today? The female fairy that goes with my male. Yeah, ooh, look at those wings. Those are gorgeous. They were also a pain. They look pretty. They look really pretty. What is that? It's a male fairy. All right, now let's take a look at what James is making with our staff member, Stephanie, with the pink hair. Hi. <laughs> I think it's awesome. <laughs> thank you, thank you. What you making over here, James? A galaxy coffee mug. Is it out of this world? We're adding stars and the moon. Yep. The shoot stars the and the moon. You know what they say, you shoot for the moon and you land among the stars if you miss. Yes. You know, they should put that on like a, a mug or something available at Inside Out Studios in the next two to four weeks. <laughs> Inspirational coffee mugs. No pun intended. Inspirational coffee mugs. A brand new idea that no one has ever thought of before. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're going to swing around to Mr. Steve Eagle. Hi, Stevie. Can you say hi? Want the microphone? Oh, you want to shake hands? <laughs> what are you working on? Can you show us? You working on your people? Can you show us? Yeah, show me your piece of paper. Who is that? Who is that? Is that Tiffany? Tiffany doesn't have glasses. Tiffany doesn't have glasses. Is that Meredith? <gasps> That's Meredith. <laughs> she looks great. Let's see. She's got... Are these also your peoples? Is that me? So cute. Can you see this one? Are these your people too? Well, here's another she did his people he accomplished today. Look at these. These look awesome. We always love to see Stevie's work here. Amazing. We love to see it. Love to see it. All right, let's see if we can squeeze through here. James, we're kind of squeezing behind here. Hi, Meredith. What are you making today? What did you make today? All right, guys, get ready. Good night. Yeah, can you show us? A cat. A cat? Yeah, I'll show him. Doing some glazing. Awesome. We're going to check in with the rest of our people very quickly. They're going to start karaoke without me. And uh, I do a mean rendition of We Don't Talk About Bruno. Hi, Tiffany. You like Bruno Mars? Love Bruno Mars. What's your favorite song by Bruno Mars? Uh, that, that, that one song that, that, that was, was playing. Can you sing it for me? Player. I, I want Bruno Mars on there. Well, you have Bruno Mars on your MP3 player? No. You want him? Yeah. Uh, you heard it here first, folks. 
Tiffany is demanding uh, Bruno Mars on our MP3 players, so we have a request. So we will see that very soon. Yeah. Who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl? And, and thank you for taking me to the back room. Yeah, we went to the Century Studio today to do some digital arts. I like it. Yeah, and it was like, very, very exciting. We're going to say hello to one more person. Hey, Fonz, you want to say hi? Do a little jig for us. Say hi. How you doing? How you doing? Alrighty, everyone. And with that, we're going to say a final goodbye. Let me turn around. Jody's already singing. <laughs> it's a little crazy in the studio here today, but uh, it was nice to see everyone. <laughs> Have a great day, and we'll see you next Friday. Can everyone say goodbye?